Okay, in this video, we're going to solve this problem right here, and so let's begin. So first, what I like to do is try simple plug-in. If I plug in a zero here, problem is I'm dividing by zero, which is a red flag, that you need to approach this problem differently. Now, because we have an absolute value, we have to remember absolute value of x works in two different ways. You could have x whenever x is greater than or equal to zero. We can think about this. If x is 0, the absolute value of 0 is 0. Likewise, if x is 0, 0 is 0. Now, if x is bigger than 0, let's try 1. Absolute value of 1 is 1. Likewise, 1 is also 1. Now, if x is less than 0, it behaves differently. It behaves like negative x. And let's think about this. Negative 2. Absolute value of negative 2 is positive 2. Likewise, negative negative 2 is also positive 2. So there's two different cases. And because we're working with a limit, we got to split it up. We'll say the limit as x approaches 0 to the left. And we'll also say the limit as x approaches 0 to the right. So slightly less than 0 and slightly greater than 0. And so let's do that. So we'll have x divided by. So 0 to the left is going to behave like this. So negative x. And 0 to the right is going to behave like the top one. So like x. Now the thing is, x divided by negative x is going to give us negative 1, and x divided by x is going to give us a positive 1. Because they're both different, our conclusion is that the limit does not exist. So you could say d and e, or you could spell it out. You could say does not exist. And that's pretty much it for this video.